So in this video, we'll be learning about the shape tool. And the reason I'm actually taking out time to explain this tool is because it's a very, very important tool. It is very versatile. You can use it to manipulate both your text and your shapes. It is very, very versatile. And as a graphic designer, you must know your way around this tool. So the first thing we'll do is we'll click on the text tool and type in like a sentence. Like, thank you styles for this course sorry for this course let me put this this side on the second line for my explanation <clears throat> so now let's let's get onto the shape tool so i'll click on the shape tool and you immediately you notice that there are a lot of things that has changed about the the composition of the shape there is this object showing this icon showing and this icon showing now if i click on this icon if i hold down my right click and i drag it out so the space between each letter increases and the more i drag it out the more the space increases or i can decide to condense it more and condense it and condense it. the more i drag it inside the more the shape the spacing between the letters reduces so this is one of the ways in which you can use the shape tool on a text on a piece of text now if i click on this second icon if i right click and hold down and i drag it down you see the space in between it increases now if, let's say for example let me remove let me cancel the effect of the shape tool let me click on the text tool say for example i type to try to write on the next line you see that the space in between them also increases i can as well say okay i look forward to learning more oh there's a mistake with the forward sorry yeah to so learning you see that the spacing between them increases now let's go back and click on the shape tool you see i can also reduce the space or increase it or reduce it back or anyhow i want it so this is the usage of the shape tool on a piece of text and also when you zoom in you see that there are these little little boxes around each text Take for example, I click on this box, this particular one that's turned black, and I drag it down. You see the H comes down. I can manipulate it around as I want it, exactly as I want it. So you can use this in your design project and to your, you know, to your taste, so how you want the design project to look like. Now, let's delete this text and click on our rectangle tool. So let me draw a rectangle of any size now you notice that when i click on the shape tool something changed about the rectangle let me cancel this out you see this is the way the rectangle looks normally when i click on the shape tool something changes around it and then also our toolbox up here a couple of changes there a couple of changes and one thing i want you to notice if i click on if i try to hold down on this edge i right click and i drag it you see what happens to it the edges become rounded Take for example, I come to this, you know, let me let me cancel the effect. Take for example, I come to this toolbox and I click on this other one. And I click on the edge again and I drag it. You see, it changes. It changes. It changes. So let me cancel out that. And I click on, and by the way, if you want to go back on what you've done, you can use Ctrl Z to undo an action. So let's say I click on the third option too. And I click on this and I drag it in. You see what happens to it? It changes. So let's say you want to round only one edge now. Let me click on the round around edge option. Let's say you want to round only one edge. Just click on that edge. Click on it. Right click first, then drag, then draw. You see it's only that edge that is rounded now. Yeah. So that is one of the ways in which you can use the shape tool. Now there is a quick command I want to teach you, and the command is Control Q. Control Q means to convert to curve. So let's say, for example, I want to convert this plane shape, this rectangle, into a curve. I'll just press Control Q. Now, by pressing Control Q, if I click on the shape tool, that is no longer we no longer have the option to round the edges or make them flat or something. But right now, it is now like a curve. It is no longer a shape. So if I come to any of the sides and I double click on it, you see that it creates like a blue dot the blue dot is called a node and this node is just basically representing like a point let's say i click on i double click on another point that's also another node now 
by double clicking on a point on the, on the curve or on a plane shape you are getting a node by double clicking on, a, on an already created node you are trying to remove the node all right so once i double click on let's say for example this arrow side if i double click so what happens it automatically deletes so that is also one of the ways in which you can use the shape tool and this tool is actually very very important when it comes to a couple of other tools let me delete this shape and go over to um, um so let me click on the free hand tool now under the free hand tool, let me use the pen tool the pen tool yeah so let me click on this and i click on this and i click on this and this and this and i join this back now if i click on the shape tool i can effect changes on this curve or on this shape that we've gotten if i click on this node you see that there are some options that showed right here take for example i don't want this line this point to this point i don't want them to be to be straight i want it to be curved if i click on take for example this node and i come to this option and i click on this option it now gives me an option to make it round i can adjust the shape to the way i like it take for example this is actually very useful for people that are into illustrations take for example you want a side to be curved you can do it this way now there is also one more one more effect i want to teach us on when we are using like when we are actually working with text and that's the control that we can use control k control k means break apart this helps to break text apart as individual units so you see you notice that let me press ctrl z this is a, a text on its own they are all functioning by themselves if they give i give them a color they all turn to that color and stuff like that so for, let's take for example i want them to be separate i don't want them to be together i will just press ctrl k ctrl k means break apart so let's say i've broken these guys apart now they are now different entities on their own now let's not say i want to also break this particular text apart i can still click on ctrl k it breaks it apart i even want to break this one down even more i can click on ctrl k and it breaks it down even more so they are now different entities and this is actually very useful if you take a look at the dell logo i think this was the idea they used they just typed dell they used ctrl k they broke the text apart and then they you know indented the e to form the dell logo so that was basically everything you need to know about the shape so there are so many more use, uses to it but as we go on this course we begin to examine them and learn more about the ship too